Hi everyone, this is Dan Henning for Everyday Productions. We're so glad to have you with us in the Thunderdome at St. Joseph Central Catholic High School. We're videotaping this game, presenting it on Friday, 21st of January, 2022. Still waiting for my, my online presence to be finished buffering and has not finished yet. We had it going, but then it picked off of us. Angel with the ball. There are uh, 7.38 left in the first quarter. Got a traveling call. Shot is up and no good. Sends over with the ball. It's 550, excuse me, 6.54 to go in the first quarter. No score. Another long miss, and it comes the other way And good, first two points of the game, and those points by Old Ford. Same goes stuck in the corner. The turnover call. Two. Four two is the lead for Old Fort. Shots long, misses, 10 picks it up, picks it up and in. And it's six two Old Fort. Timeout. 
We may have some buffering throughout the game here because the uh, Wytha that we're using here at the school is just not sending it out fast enough for us. So we'll do the best we can. That timeout called by the streets. I think that's a second timeout. 8-2 is the lead for Old Ford over the streaks. I'm Dan Henning for Everyday Productions. Glad you are with us for this live stream and for the tape delay that we're going to have here on YouTube. Videotaping this and presenting it on Friday the 21st of January 2022. Streaks are down by 6. 8-2, first quarter. And we got a foul call. I'm sorry, it was not a foul. The boy now was in traveling or went out of bounds. And that means that Old Ford has the ball. And forgive me if I'm a little distracted here trying to get the um, live stream to work properly because the Wi Fi is not strong enough. It's uh, just not working fast enough, so it's uh, too, much, too much buffering going on. Number 20 for. Oh, Ford. Knocked away. Streets with the ball. It's number 23. Goes it down underneath. Can't get it in. Old Ford has a really fast paced game going here and up now. 10 to 2 with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. That's going to go to St. Joe. A good crowd here for a Friday night. Very cold evening. official says. Well, I can see you're getting something online and some, maybe some sound there from me. The Thunderdome at Fremont St. Joe. As I said, I'll try to look at this again at halftime. Or perhaps we can get something straightened out a little bit, but we're going to have some buffering for the time being. That is in, and it's Good for three, it's now 12, 15, I'm sorry, 15 to two. This is the way the JV went too. JV just couldn't get points, couldn't get it down the court. Taken away. And we'll have a foul called on number 10 for St. Joe. Under four minutes to go in the first quarter. It is 15-2, Old Fort over St. Joe. One shot's no good. It is rebounded by 10. He turns around, tries to make a shot in close. Can't do it. Gets the ball back. Four with the ball, it puts it up and it's no good. It's off the left side of the rim. And there's a foul called. No, I'll take it back, I think it was. Let's see what the officials say here. And it's a push. 23 is gonna to go to the line for Old Fort. St. Joe, foul on two and a foul on number 10 so far in this game. Plus another foul wandering around someplace. I'm not sure who has that one. That's a good shot. 16 2. 14 point lead for, lead for Old Ford. These teams are pretty much at the opposite ends of 
Sandusky Bay River Division. St. Joe has only three, one, three uh, wins, and I think uh, Oakland has like two or three losses. That's a push. Called on number 10 for Old Fort. I think that's his first. Uh, Old Fort has five fouls called on him already in this game. St. Joe's three, as I mentioned. Three is good. That's a long three by number four. Five points for St. Joe, still down by 12. No shots on the floor. Seventeen five. Wolfer with the ball out. This is uh, perhaps the best view we have at any gymnasium in the area from the balcony here at St. Joe. Right at mid court. Sometimes we don't get this spot here, but we can get it if we try. That's another three, and it's now eight points. We have eight points up there for St. Joe. Seventeen eight. Old Fort leads. That is good for a three. That was number five. Here's the ball. It's miss. Rebounded by 12. He bounces it off of the Old Fort player. on the long one, got a lot of falling down. 23 with the ball, takes it off to one. And we'll have a foul called. Fast game, fast fouls. That is at least the fourth against St. Joe. Sorry, they have six. They have six, I was looking at the wrong number there. They have six and only two against Old Fort. That is in for a two. 22-8, 22-8, Old Fort leads. We're still in the first quarter. And 12 for St. Joe taking them all out. One minute, 50, 5-0. Seconds left, uh, one minute and 50 seconds left in the first quarter. And Joe can't get another one in. And we'll have another foul called on four. And St. Joe is already in foul trouble. There are shooting fouls on, on any St. Joe foul. Now they have called, uh, they've been called on seven fouls. Three fouls called on Old Fort. So this will be a one and one opportunity. Number 10 at the line. He has four points tonight. Substitutions. 
Number one, up to the line. He doesn't have any points tonight. 22 points on the board for Old Fort at eight for St. Joe. And off the rim, came back at him, three with the ball, find somebody, I think it's number 10 for St. Joe. It's in for a three. 22-11. St. Joe trailing. Looks to make a shot, changes his mind. Number one has the ball, he takes a shot, and it's good. Good for three, 25-11, Old Fort leads. St. Joe having a little bit of trouble getting it out of that end of the court. And we got a foul called, I think, on number 33, maybe. That is, 33. That would be his first foul. 25-11, St. Joe trails by 14. 29 seconds to go, first quarter. Good one. 27 11, six seconds to go in the first quarter. Another foul called on St. Joe. Nine fouls here in this first quarter are called against St. Joe and five against Old Fort. Puts that first one in. 28 points for Old Fort. 11 for St. Joe. Four and a half seconds to go, first quarter. Puts the second one in, it's 29-11. And we finish the first quarter, 29-11. Old Fort over St. Joe. 29-11, Old Fort leads. Strong passing game. Nice shot on the rebound. Number 10, the number, uh, maybe number three. Taken away again by Old Fort. These are the all hands people. Again, two more. 33 11 to triple score on St. Joe. Only a two-point layup. 13 points for St. Joe, trailing by 20. Nice short shot. It is good for number 23. Uh, he has 12 points tonight. He leads all players. In. 15 points for St. Joe, trail by 20. First half, 35-15. That is in, that was uh, number 11. Should have five points up there now for him. And goes in, 17-37, still 20 point difference. Coach Will is standing, yelling at his team, trying to get some 
Good fives going. That is up and good. And I think that was good for three, so that's 40 points. 40-17 lead for Old Fort. Old Fort does not stop. Man, they are playing well. Athletic director at Fremont St. Joe is Gary Geller, who's also now the girls basketball coach. Jason Miller is the AD down at Old Fort. First shot's a miss for number 23. He has 12 points. Is that yours, number 23? Is that your boy? I thought it was. The guy who's videotaping from Old Ford over here for the team uh, is cheering on his son, who's number 23. St. Joe just cannot break that press. This is foul on number five, I think. Let's see how the official calls it. The two shots. Well, number five's numbers uh, are not up on the board right now, so I'm not sure. Who is calling for that foul? Six fouls called against against Old Fort here in the first half. Ten against the Streets. Twenty-two puts it up and in. Eighteen points for St. Joe. They're down forty-one eighteen. That's a twenty-three point difference. It's up and around the rim and away. Ten pulls it off for St. Joe. 5.22 to go first half. Can't put those long ones in. And there's going to be a foul underneath down there. St. Joe's kind of spread those fouls around. They don't have any one person with those, at least on the board right now, with a lot of fouls. Six fouls represented by the players that are on the court right now for St. Joe, at least 10. At least 10, that, that's a magic number. And they, I won't have updates on any, how many more fouls they'll have before the second half. That one goes in, it is 43-18. The ball, ball goes out of bounds, not a foul. Throws away the other side of the court. That should be over and back. And that means that the ball will go all down at this end. More old for it. shot. It is good. Swish. That's a seventh foul. 
Follow Norm for so that means we're going to have a one and one for Fremont St. Joe. Number two up to the line. He has just two points on the night. Puts first one in. 19 now. St. Joe is, just can't get past that halfway point. They have fewer than half the points of their opponent. They've gotten close a couple times. Second one's also good. 20 points for St. Joe. 46 for Old Fort. Get a foul on two. Two was a little surprised at that, but that's the way it, the ball bounces. Number 20 at the line. He has uh, five points tonight. It in 47 20. Ball goes all over the place when Old Fort puts on that press. And he will be called for a charge. Old Fort called for a charge. Angel gets the ball. Angel having trouble get that ball across midcourt. Long shot, misses. Rebounded though. Another rebound, this one goes in. I think that was number 23 again. He has 17 points. Out of the 49. 4-0-4. Out of the four leading 49-20. Again, another pass stolen. Long shot is no good. Rebounded by St. Joe. The ball touches the line, and that means it goes to, it was off the hands of an old foot player that goes to the streets. Got a good student section here with their signs taped to their jerseys. That end of the court. 251 to go to the first half, and we have a 49 to 20. 29 point lead for the old Fort Stock Eaters. to 20, 222 to go in the first half. Old Fort with the big lead. Inbounds, St. Joe 
the ball. Couple of subs. Guys coming off the bench. Minute and 50 seconds to go in the first half. Goes out of bounds. Saves that in. Minute 39 to go, first half, 51 to 20. 31 point lead for Old Ford. Dusky Bay Conference River Division. Oh, that was an easy slap up there and missed it. Got a jump ball, it goes to Fremont St. Joe. And I take that back. They switched that. It's now going to goes to Old Ford on the. And now we got a timeout called. Now they're going back to the original decision. St. Joe ball. This is on the long shot. It is rebounded by 23. 23 has 17 points. This is on the shot. The uh, streaks have the ball. Minute to go in the first half. Got a foul call this time on 23. Nine fouls against Old Ford, more than 10 against the Streaks. Number 40, who was just coming in off the bench a moment ago, is taking shots. Puts that first one in. 30 point difference, 51 21. Old Ford leading. What's the second one in as well? 51-22. Talking down the last minute on the first half. That's another one put in by 20 this time. All for backing off the press. 53-22. It's going to come the other way. Two-pointer, two points. 56-22, I don't think that was a three. Anyway, it's goes 56-22. No four meter. Takes a long shot, misses. We finish first half, 56-22. Old Ford over St. Joe. Bill Burkett in the St. Joe Pep Band. for the second half. 56-22 is the lead for Old Ford. Old Ford is, has the right bucket in front of us, which would be the north end of the court.
the miss. Rebounded by number 11. North Fort has had a commanding lead from the very beginning. Long shot is up and no good, but it's rebounded by 23. Tosses it back out, four has the ball, throws it into 23, 23 up with the rebound. With the layup. 60 points for Old Fort. 22 for St. Joe. Traveling. See if this, how long this lasts with this buffer. Again, we've had some uh, trouble with buffering. With the Wi-Fi. So we're doing the best we can. Go forward with the ball. Knocked away by number 10. Doesn't count, but there is a foul call. So we're going to have to live with this buffering the whole game, and we will put this up on YouTube as soon as we get it edited on Saturday morning. You can watch the entire event there. We apologize for all the problems we've had with this uh, buffering. It's the first time we've had that situation here at St. Joe. Two to go in this third quarter. It is 62-22, a 40-point lead for Old Fort. Taping and trying to do a live stream on January the 21st, 2022. That's a layup. 19 points for number 23, and I see 10 points for number 20 for Old Fort, and 11 for number 4. Fort has a number of six foot plus players, and that it's a pretty difficult on a shorter team like St. Joe. But they have a tremendous press. And again, there's number, number 10 for the streaks. points for number 23 at Old Fort. And we'll have a foul called. That might be number 10. in. Oh, 
Off the rim. Knocked out of bounds. White ball. 2.07 to go in the third quarter. It's a fast third quarter. 67-24. All four leading. Long shot is no good, but Levin puts it back up and in. Sixty-nine twenty-four. St. Joe can't get a break tonight. That's because Old Fort's taking them all away. Good officiating. I think it's three officials out of the Toledo area. Does not go in for him. Will not take the roll. 69-24. Less than a minute to go. Third quarter. Loose ball picked up by St. Joe. Oh, he goes in and out. That's the way it's bounced for St. Joe. He can't put another layup in. Ten puts it in though, and he is fouled. Trying to fight for that one. 69-26. They still, they didn't stop the clock. They kept it going. on that one. And 69-26 at the end of three quarters. Old Ford leading. St. Joe ball, trailing by uh, 43 points, 69, 26, eight minutes to go in the game. We got a push and I think it's gonna be called on two. He already has four fouls. I think that's four of his four fouls. Now he has five. We got a sub for him. That's number 40. Okay, number two is taking a real beating tonight. He's worked very hard. And he's had to foul quite a number of times. It just was the way it worked and trying to stay up with the, uh, the opposing team. And it just was tough for him. That's a two. It's an amazing old Ford team. Forty takes a shot, misses it. It goes out of bounds. Well, I thought it was off off of White, but it goes over to Brown. Stock Aiders. Sorry. Yeah, they called it against the Stock Aiders. St. Joe with the ball up, and it's not, a, not good anyway, but it's going to be a foul call. Twenty-two, I think. So he called him on. Two fouls called against Old Porter in the second half. Four against St. Joe. We're already in the fourth quarter, and. Uh, I guess the clock does not stop when there's a 40-point lead. 
did not know that. Clock continues to move. Coach Wills complaining about something happening on the other, other court. We're in the fourth quarter, 72-29. Old Fort leading. Get them moving again here. Timeout's a short one. I think they allowed him another timeout. Another one minute. Five thirty-two. Twenty-three with the rebound or with the steal, and he can't put it in. And we have a call against twenty-three. So five fouls up on the board for St. Joe in the second half. Two against Old Fort. A lot fewer for both teams than they had in the first half. Long shot is a two. And the two misses it. Three for St. Joe picks it up. Four thirty-five to go. And that is good for a three. And that was number three with the shot. First points of the game. Let me call for traveling. Seventy-five, twenty-nine, four minutes to go. It's in. Slid across the court. That should be traveling. And stepped out, too. St. Joe ball. Nine to go in the game. Say Joe cannot get a free shot, but they get a foul on number three. Well, maybe not a foul, maybe it was just a traveling violation. Seventy-seven, twenty-nine, Old Ford over St. Joe. Yes, forty-four with the ball, and scoots out of bounds. 
Nice slide on number 21. He was safe, but he loses the ball because he stepped out of bounds. 2.02 to go. 77-29. Old Fort over St. Joe. Hits the corner of the rim. Shot is no good, no foul. Now there's a foul. Number 40. There's the line. Have two shots. Hits the first one in. I think he hit both of them the last time he was up. The foul shots. That make three points for him. It's the second one. 31 points for St. Joe. 52 seconds to go in the game. 77 points for all four. Foul call. 32 seconds, but the clock will keep on going, so even during the time of the foul shot, the clock keeps moving. 44 at the line. 18 seconds, 17. 77 31. Old Fort misses on the first one. It's the second one, 78-31, Old Fort, and that is the final score. Old Fort over St. Joe, 78-31. I'm Dan Henning, Curvy Productions. Glad you've been with us. Hope you join us right here again next time. <laughs>